everybody, Chef Brian from the Gooder Cooking Show. Look, look, college student. Invite a college student. Look, she's already <laughs> trying to take over my show. Just like the other little kid that was here last. Stand these kids. <laughs> Chef Brian here from the Gooder Cooking Show and Mary Man Herbs. Welcome, my friend Sarah. Sarah is actually a senior? Yes. Like an eight year senior, six year. <laughs> Yeah. I had to get her that one. Sarah works for me at Billiken as well. And I invited Sarah because we're going to make a fun recipe today, but then we're going to... That's exactly it. Yeah. Not loaded, though. Hand gestures are necessary. They are. I talk with my hands. Okay. I'm a theater major. Oh, hey. Okay, that hey. just... We're going to make some guacamole for you today, but we're going to turn it around for you, spin it up a little bit, and have a little bit of fun because Sarah's been making guacamole and been showing her some new things and having some fun with it. So... Real quick though, Sarah, Yeah. what are you studying besides underwater basket weaving? No, oh. he said he would make that joke. <clears throat> Dad joke. <laughs> I am studying musical theater. Nice. Yes. Singing, dancing. Acting. Acting. Being oh. an idiot. Yep, all of it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You'd be great at it. Then I got a PhD in yeah. acting. I, was just, I am an idiot. I was going to say, I'm only a sophomore and I'm just... You've got a PhD? No, you don't. <laughs> okay, before we get too far into this, because then we get these all these terrible messages from people and the fans and blah, blah, blah. You didn't say hi to the video guy. Hello, video guy. Hi, video guy. Why are you wearing blue today, dude? Why am I wearing blue today? It's Milliken Day here at the Gooder Cooking Show. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue, baby. Uh, we even point. have blue chips. We even have blue chips. Fair point. You, you know, so... You caught yourself on that one. Get with, the, get with the lingo, bro. All right, mm. so here we go. So, Sarah, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to make some guacamole, right? We've got some nice avocados. Remember, if you need some good avocados, go see my friend at Brenda over at the Aldi's in Mount Zion. We haven't been in a week, and I heard that uh, she's starting to get a little bit of depression going on because I haven't been there to harass her. Great customer service, great food at Aldi. Go see Brenda out in Mount Zion. So, show them how to cut that, Sarah. Okay. But... <clears throat> Avocado. Knife. You place the finger. Avocado. Keep it out of the way. Keep the finger out of the way. <laughs> We're gonna put the knife right on the long yep. end. Just slice right into it here till you hit the pit, and bring it into the yes. circle. Now see how she's rolling that, everybody. She's keeping the avocado on the on the cook's table, and then she doesn't have to worry about it. So it's it's split. Thank you, Vanna. And then splits through. And now here's the beauty. See how that turned and came apart. That means it's ripe. So when you're looking for your avocado mm -hmm. in the store, you want it to be able to be a little bit soft. If it's hard like a baseball, not good. Or you can bring that home, put that in a brown paper bag, and let that sit for a few days, and that will help them to ripen them. Okay? Now, because it's my show and I don't want you to cut your arm off, hey, listen, this is just this simple. That's how you take the pit out of the avocado, right? Okay? So Sarah, Sarah show them how to scoop it. All right, we'll take a nice medium or large. Scoop. Large, well, yeah. you know, go big or go home here at the Gooder Cooking Show. We're just gonna scoop it right out and try to avoid the, what would you call that? That's the skin. Okay, no, like the little seedy boy at the top? Yeah. Oh, oh the, the, boy. the stem, that's where it grows on the tree. Yeah, 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 the stem. Try to get as much in there as possible. Perfect, because we're cheap here at the Gooder Cooking Show. <laughs> okay, and then the other half, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Stem. There we now, go. now you say, well, Chef, why is Sarah wearing gloves? This is why. Dig in there, lady. Yes. We get into our food. Wash your hands real good. Remember, there is a true methodology of washing your hands, ladies and gentlemen. It's the hottest water that you can possibly take. Tap water usually runs about 110 degrees. Soap and water up to about the medium part of your forearm for about as long as you can sing the ABCs or happy birthday, right? Washing your hands real good, and then you put your gloves on. If you put dirty hands into clean gloves, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. So make sure that you're washing your hands. And not just because it's COVID. Good hand sanitizing is great in everything with food, right? So she's got all that mixed up real good. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to take her gloves off and, and dispose of them. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So now we've got the avocado mashed, and we're ready to go. It's not mashed. And I like to leave mine where there's some chunks of avocado in there, okay? So, add, add, Sarah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to add in this, Sarah. So okay. fresh tomatoes, right? Some fresh onion. 
and we cheated. I've got some extra virgin olive oil here with some beautifully fresh minced cilantro. But Chef, we haven't made it the gooder cooking show at Mary Man Herbs. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I have the gooder spicy blend going in. And you say, well, how do I make that? You don't. You come to the store and buy it. Okay, so Sarah, give that a mix. All right. Spoon mix. Spoon mix it up. Mm -hmm. Now, could you enjoy this right away? Of course you can. Would you want to? I don't see why not. <laughs> but the longer the flavors sit together, the more they marry and get to know each other. And the gooder, see how we spin that in there? The gooder, uh -huh. the gooder it gets. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more of this. Okay. Give that a little bit more of a turn. A little bit more cilantro. Chef, I don't like cilantro. Then don't put it in there. <laughs> I like cilantro. Then put more in there. I don't care. Parsley works well in there. If you needed to and wanted to stretch it, a little bit of spinach goes well in there. So the cilantro and the spinach. So Sarah, what's Sarah have now? She's got her guacamole. That's awesome. Nice job. Thanks. Now the beauty of what we're doing with Sarah today too is, is she is going to go... She's got some, her roommates, you know, they kind of tolerate her, but, you know, she's kind of, you know, bossy and, no, I'm kidding. We're gonna have, she's going to have some fun with her roommates tonight, right? You're just explaining yourself, by the way. Oh, yeah. oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to let Sarah have some serious fun tonight with her roommates, right? So we're going to break this into three containers so that we can change it up and have some fun with it, right? Okay, so here's what we've got. So now, what do we have? We're gonna, you gotta have, you gotta have just regular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just yeah. gotta have, you gotta have regular. Right. But now we've gotta make it so it's gooder gooder. Gooder gooder. Gooder gooder. Please don't let that go to the English department because I'll probably get in trouble. Now we're gonna take it and spin it with a little bit of pineapple salsa. How much, Chef? That's why you're using a spoon. So if you need to taste it after you get it mixed up, you can, right? So now we're just going to mix a little bit of that in there. Remember the beauty of why I love my deli container so much? <laughs> because I can mix it right here. You can smell a little bit of the pineapple. Mm. Okay? Yeah. I love pineapple. So we got a little bit of the pineapple salsa in there, mm -hmm. right? And then I made, yesterday, I made a green chili and tomato salsa. So we're going to take a little bit of that green chili and tomato salsa and take this guacamole to another level yet. Love it. So the beauty of it is, is, and the guacamole police will not come and arrest you. Have some fun with it. Enjoy it. Mix it up. Got some gooder seasonings in there. Leave these sit for four to six hours. The flavors will bloom, they will come out, they will macerate, and everything will be good to go. But how would you want to try? I think you should try that one. Yes. Pineapple? I sure. The same thing. You should try that one for this sure. Blue corn tortilla. Blue corn. Where do you get those at? We got those right here at the store at Mary Manor's. What would you say is a good ratio? Of what? Of, of guac. A lot. Not okay. Because, you know, we hear, we hear at the Gooder Cooking Show, go big or go home. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that good? Or is it gooder? It's, it's greater. It, I can't say that. No, no, that's okay. It's gooder, gooder. Yeah, good. Ooh! It's a good... Yeah, gooderist. Gooderist! I can oh, uh, pineapple. You should try some. I'll, I take your word for it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, hey, simple, something quick, very simple. Guacamole, gooder cooking show, little avocado, little onion, little tomato, little spicy gooder seasoning. All of a sudden, now you've got some fun. Don't eat it because you've got to go home and make friends with all your roommates, <laughs> right? My friend Sarah, thank you so much for coming, sweetheart. Thanks Appreciate for having me. Sarah is a, she works for me in the CAF as well. Great employee, great young person. Her smile, her enthusiasm, her energy is infectious. This is why I'm a better person today is because I get to work with young people like this. I'm a blessed human being. Hey, always remember, cooking gooder, bring out the love in your food, 
And always, always, always remember, think a veteran. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon.